Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, today is the 31st of December 2020. What a year. <laughs> Praise God. It, now, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what, what it's been to you. And, and listen, whether it has been good or it has been bad, you are alive. You are alive. You may have lost someone, yes, but you are alive. Give God praise on that. I'm not saying thanking God for the person that died. No, I'm saying give God praise that today you are alive. You know what that means? You can change your life. And you can stop that experience from happening to you. You can. Oh, do we have control? Oh, yes. I told you on Monday, you have control over your soul. Hold it firm. Strengthen your arms to be firm on your soul. I'm going to be sharing with you some things that you shouldn't joke with. Yesterday I told you pray according to the watches. Pray according to the watches. Now, today I'm going to tell you something very important. So important that it has been attacked. But you see, I, I laugh when I hear certain people say some things. Because I look at them, I'm like, they don't have understanding concerning. Their, they, they are, they are, they, their heart may be sincere, but they lack understanding because they have not heard from the Lord. Listen, the world is going to go through a phase. Things are going to get tough. I'm telling you the truth. Don't think everything is going to get rosy. Things are going to get tough. 2020 was the beginning you see, don't think things are just going to suddenly become better. No, things are going to get worse. Now listen to me. The way, remember Isaiah 60 says, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness will cover the people. But the Lord shall arise upon who? You. And his glory shall be revealed in who? You. So as darkness is covering the earth, he didn't say darkness shall cover you. He said darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness will cover the people. But there is a different people. In the midst of that darkness, the Lord shall be arising upon them. And his glory shall be seen in them. Now, how does this work out here? Now, the world is going through a, a phase of economic depression. Yeah, that's darkness. But the Lord is arising upon certain people. His glory shall be seen upon certain people. Now, what's the difference between this people and the other people? Instructions. Instructions. Laws. They live by a different set of laws. They live by a different set of rules. Now, how do they get those rules? The visitation of the Lord is the one that tells them, do this, do this, do this. You remember Isaac? There was famine in the land. Everybody was leaving, but God said, don't leave. So, he obeyed God and reaped a hundredfold and got blessed. Was there famine in the land? Yes. So, how did Isaac prosper? By the instruction of the Lord. So hear me, you must take tithing very seriously. That's why I say some people have attacked tithing. You know, the Lord told me then, when tithing was attacked, I heard the Lord says, tell my children, and I, and I think I did it then. It says, tell my children that they are attacking their future. Now, the, the attack on tithing was because of this season that we're entering into. So if you join those people that say, oh, no, 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 you're not, you're not supposed to tithe. Me, 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 me. You need to repent. You need to repent because you are going to be hit. Satan plays smart, but he's not that smart. He's not that smart. He sees something coming and then he, he looks at you and he wants to weaken your foundations so that when that flood comes, it will carry you away. He's not, he doesn't come when the flood is to attack you. He, he, he knows the way. See, he's been with God for so long. I'm telling you the truth. Satan has been with God for so long. So there are certain kind of patterns he understands with God. Yes. So he knows when he sees certain kind of movements, 
he can to a measure tell generally what might happen next. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. So when he knows, he begins to think, how do I weaken these people? And he begins to bring certain information that will weaken your heart. He does that and he keeps quiet and he's watching. You, you think you're doing something. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And he waits. Then when the flood comes, and then you say like something, I'm going to shake myself like before. And then you rise up. There is no anointing. It's gone. And then you say, what? What happened to me? Oh, you didn't know when you were eating that food. You didn't know. So let me tell you something. If you have believed those people that say, you shouldn't tithe because pastors are eating your money, you need to repent. You need to repent. Tithe, I've, I've said this in several messages. Tithing is an ordinance that God himself, and the Lord told me, and he said, I had to come to Abraham personally and teach him about tithing. Now, I'm not saying bring your tithes to me. <laughs> so, so don't start thinking I'm looking for your money. No, I'm, t I'm teaching you, you know, I was telling you yesterday, following patterns. So I'm teaching what the Lord have taught me. And this is the truth. And it works. When, when pe people who say they don't tithe, watch their lives. Try to bring out genuine testimony. Gen when I mean genuine testimony of God's provision in their life consistent. Now God is a merciful God, don't get me wrong. God is a merciful God and he will always be faithful to his word. But I'm talking about, see, look at a man who trusts in God's system. And he, he just, he's relaxed. He's trusted in God's system. And, and, and it just works for him all the time. Look at the prince. There is something he's doing right that you need to find out. I'm telling you the truth. So, so the Lord is saying to you now, don't play with titan now what do you mean don't play with titan remember i've taught you something about titan it's honor it's honor if you take out the honor it is not titan you are just giving money i'm telling you the truth so when you receive money the first thing you must do now if you have not been titan if you if for example if you had joined those people who say we should, we should stop tithing. And then you actually stop tithing. You need to repent. And this must be your repentance. Take an offering before the Lord as a tithe. You say, Lord, I bring repentance where this is concerned, where my finances is concerned. I bring repentance before you. And Lord, I told you, it is when, when you receive money, the first it must be the first. If it is not the first, it is no more tight. I'm telling you, you're practicing religion. So you must begin to honor the Lord from your heart. So you take out the first. And then you say, Lord, thank you. you know, Moses said to them, you shall remember the Lord. Your God. He was speaking by prophecy. He said, you shall remember the Lord your God. For it is he who gives you power to get wealth. You, how do you remember the Lord? He was talking about tithing. Yeah. Proverbs said, honor the Lord with your substance. How do you honor the Lord with your substance? It must be the first thing. How do you honor someone? Someone comes to you, how do you honor? You give him the best. You, you understand what I'm saying? You put the best thing before him. So tithing, you take that first out of the fight of the money you have received. You take it first and you must acknowledge. You know, just, mm, mm, mm. You know, oh, Father, thank you. This money I receive it from you. And Lord, I honor you with my tithe. You just got an alert. Or you just got payment for a business a transaction you did. Oh, wow, thank you, Father. I've received that alert that I prayed for. I've received that transaction. I've received that money, Lord. You, know, you say, Lord, I remember that you gave this to me. I asked you for it. And you did it. So Lord, you know what? I'm going to honor you with my tithe. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And then you take out that tithe. 
and, and, and if he tells, and then this is the important point, in the giving of the tithe. See, tithing is the honoring the Lord. Now, in the giving of the tithe, there's another thing that we have not been doing right. And what's that thing? Asking the Lord what you need to do with his money. What do you mean? It's not to give it to church. No, no, no. The money doesn't belong to the tithe, doesn't belong to the church. It belongs to God. And you are in a relationship with God. So what stops you of asking him what you should do with his money? Now that's one way. You see, when, when, when people were attacking tithe, you see, this is what the information they lacked concerning it. They don't know that you are supposed to ask God to lead you on where to tithe. Tithing is not a gift that you're giving to God. It is his money. It is his. That's why in Malachi, he say you have robbed God because you took his money. You understand what I'm saying? So you're giving his place to another. And I told you some weeks ago, I said, if you want to deal with mammon, start tithing right. If you want to deal with the spirit of mammon in your life, because the moment God begins to speak to you on where to take the tithe, to, guess what? He will begin to speak to you on how to spend the rest. And you would see. I, 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 enjoy, I, I enjoy these things. It's normal to me. It's normal to us. It's normal to us as a family. It's normal to us as a people. It's, it's just normal. So nobody should ask you to bring their tithe to them. Except by a command from the Lord. And you will know if it's a command from the Lord. You understand what I'm saying? But you see, you must release it freely and by the instruction of the Lord to you. And so the Lord says, so Lord, what do I do? With you? So what, what if the Lord doesn't say anything yet? Put it somewhere. Put it in an account. What if I'll eat it? Then be disciplined. Control your soul. It's God's money. Don't eat it. And from time to time, say, Lord, you have not instructed me concerning the title. I'm still waiting for you, Lord. In fact, I would advise you, like I do, have a, an account for your tithe. That's, that's all where you keep the tithe, until the Lord commands you what to do with it. And when he commands you, you do it cheerfully. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You know, Lord, I just love, I just love, you know, spending your money for you. I just love doing it. So you send it to the person by the command of the Lord, and then the person, it's such a joyful, you know, the Bible says when we sow in the spirit, we will reap life everlasting. This is life everlasting. I've seen that happen time and time again. The Lord commands to give the money, to, and then we, we give them, we say, wow, do you know, do you know, do you know, we were, we were believing God for this. And yes, that's the God you're believing. He sent me to you, praise God. And the same thing, we, we are believing God for that. Then suddenly it just comes. Whoa. This is the way you're going to ride above. I'm sharing this with you whether you believe it or not. The day you get into trouble, that's why I'm sharing the word with you. You will remember these words. And you will practice it and God will show you mercy. But why do you wait till the time of trouble? Begin to practice it. And the Lord will instruct you. He will guide your mind. He will teach you. He is God. And he loves you. And he will give you his teachings. He will give you his presence. Let me tell you. What I've shared with you these two weeks. Last week and, and this week. If you will carefully obey and follow. Now what I mean obey and follow. Take it before the Lord and say, Lord, can you talk to me about these things? And let it become personal instructions to you. 2021. You're going to guide no matter what happens. Praise God. Father, we thank you for bringing us to the end of 2020. It's been a year that you have proven yourself as God. Hallelujah. For you said, as I leave, every knee will bow to me. Lord, knees have started bowing to you. Tongues have started confessing. But Lord, I know in 2021... Even as the darkness increases, your light is shining in us and is shining in greater and increasing measure. That they will begin to confess that the Lord in you is God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. And you will guide us into 2021. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. 
Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to see you next year. Wow, isn't that amazing? Praise God. God bless you. Bye-bye.